What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarterly. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I really, really appreciate everyone checking out my videos. And if you haven't yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below. I know you might have to create an account or whatever, but it's one of the only ways you'll ever find my videos as they are uh, buried uh, deep inside the, in the deeps of YouTube search. Um, now, that's because of the topics I cover, obviously. Uh, but... Uh, Looks like Kyle has done it again. Every every time I see him trending on Twitter, um, I'm wondering what happened. Did he finally sue somebody? You know, for him, <clears throat> now that we actually saw what a, a defamation trial win looks like played out in front of the world. Now there have been other defamation trials that that. Uh, were that did result in victories that you know the public did know about for example nicholas sandman um but we didn't really see how it works we didn't really know exactly you know how much evidence it would take or you know this kind of stuff to actually pull it off but i would argue that based on everything we've seen now what's been said about kyle I think it's fair to say he has a very, very good chance of winning if it were go to go to the jury. Uh, so yesterday, uh, <clears throat> after the verdict of the trial was released, Kyle tweeted out, quote, the jury gave me my life back. Truth never perishes. That's a direct quote from, from Johnny. I felt that. Congratulations to Johnny on and his team <clears throat> on his defamation suit. That an hour later, he wrote, I have a new announcement coming soon about my defamation cases. Keep an eye out on Fox News and tmap.org for more this week. Johnny's trial is just fueling me. You can fight back against the lies in the media, and you should. Now, his case is a little bit different. Um, you know, it's more of an individual on individual type scenario. But, you know, I still think... He's probably got at least a few good cases against people that, you know, definitely defamed him. Um, people that knew that they were spreading false information about him, but did it anyway. Now he's fundraising here. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell people what to do with their money, but I don't like giving, and I would tell this to Kyle to his face if you give me an interview. <clears throat> I've asked a few times, never really received any you know, no disrespect. He's, he's going to be on Fox News. Why do you be on my channel? I don't like donating money into a void. Um, if I'm going to donate money, I like to see the money totaling up. I want to know how much money's been raised because we saw what happened with his other lawyer and the amount of money that was raised for him and, you know, where that ever went. We'll never know. Um, so this is, you know, but I, I do think it's a worthy cause. I just wish he would be transparent about, um, uh, you know, how much money was raised. So we could hit a goal at least. Now, uh, Twitter has absolutely lost its mind in response to this seeing, um, you know, you see Jessica Defino writing the verdict, uh, the bans and the pro uh, Anna TikToks. I don't know what that means. Um, the submissive trad wife content and the I don't want to think, I just want to be hot. Bimbo comeback and, and Kim Kardashian telling the New York Times that she would eat literal S if it made her look younger, are all connected. Yeah, maybe. You see, you know, American actors, and they put Kyle under there. He was trending last night. Um, you see, he went to he went there looking for trouble and protected himself and used crocodile tears in court to get away with... It's like these people still don't actually remember... I mean, they don't... They're incapable of actually... Um, how do I say remembering facts? I mean, remember, you know, we had Mark Ruffalo hashtag rip Jojo, uh, the guy that you, that literally, you know, entered the young ones against their will. Uh, if I remember right, if it was, is it him or the other guy? Um, you know, you see all these people on Twitter, um, here at Lydia Cornwall, Cornell, he executed two people and GOP makes him a hero. You see Tony, he's a gigantic worthless piece of ass. Every time he says anything, you know, Twitter, a lot of, um, you know, Ukraine flags, or I suppose they'd be rainbows now. Although I did, I have to say, I've seen a lot less rainbow uh, flag stuff. 
Um, you can see Ron Flipkowski saying that, you know, Kyle says that Johnny Verdict has motivated him to start filing his own suits. He probably should have been doing that already. Um, but a lot of people, you know, losing their minds over this. It's pretty hilarious to me. Uh, and you see Insider, he says that Johnny's win is fueling him to get moving on suing the media over defamation. Now, uh, <clears throat> if I were giving him advice, legal advice, you know, I would pick one or two fronts at most ones with the deepest pockets and ones with the highest likelihood of winning because you can get your vengeance financially. And I hope he does on these, on the lying members of the media, people like Whoopi Goldberg and, um, Joy Behar, who like continued to just knowingly lie about him. Um, but also understand that you could, time is limited. Life is short. So we can only really focus on one or two things at once for the most part. And so I'm hoping that he also is like writing a book that he could make enough money off of that he never has to work again in his life. Um, you know, do, do these type of things to secure while you're still in the spotlight. Is that greedy that I say that? I guess I'm just trying to like, if I were talking to him as a friend, I'd be like, yes, these lawsuits are important, but they also take forever and they take a lot of money. In the meantime, you know, uh, fix your own mask first on the airplane before helping someone else, so to speak. Um, so the reaction, of course, uh, talking about the organization's website, brands itself as the official fundraising vehicle for helping him hold the worst offenders in our activist media uh, accountable in court. It also sells a range of products like shirts emblazoned with the words accountability is coming. At the time, he has not identified any specific media outlets he's planning to sue. On Wednesday, he lauded the jury's handling of the, uh, you know, JD and AH case. Uh, of course he did. Of course he did. For his part, he has post acquittal become a hero on the right and lionized as a victor over the mainstream media. He also received praise from figures like former President Donald Trump. Oh my God. Lauren Bobbert, Matt Gates, and MTG. Again, these are all like weird attempts to like smear him. Um, but you, you can see he still has a ton of support. Um, but it is, you know, it is, he needs to make a move here. You know, he needs to make a move here. Now, I would imagine that there are suits that are easier to win than maybe, you know, the other one. This is, of course, the uh, infamous, I believe he's wearing a free as F t-shirt or it was either that or the, the black rifle coffee hat. Yeah, he had a black rifle coffee hat. So um, the heroes at Black Rifle Coffee had to make sure and come out and smear him and say, oh, well, he bought that shirt on his own. We don't support that kid in Kenosha. They didn't even say his name. Remember that? You know, that and actually in that moment is was very, one of the many things that inspired me to launch coffeebrandcoffee.com. But uh, that's not what this video is about. Anyway, check out the website. We have cocos and teas coming on June 10th. Um, but Twitter obviously flooding his replies as, you know, I don't want people to forget about him. Um, he was a canary in the coal mine in terms of the way the media can spin a narrative still on June 2nd, 2022, you have people on Twitter and people out in the public convinced that like he did literally anything wrong when of course he did not. Um, and this is a function of the machine. I do think our media uh, views itself as like an activist foundation. I do think that our media is no longer considered and hasn't been con concerned, sorry, with telling the truth in any meaningful way for a very long time. I think that they've really just decided, hey, this is what we're going to say. We've seen this in the way that the, the uh, trial was reported in the first place. There's still dozens of articles getting published that says, you know, Johnny lost in, so to speak, like he lost 2 million, but, but he also won 15 million, but we're not going to talk about that. Or there's articles that are like, you know, how, do, how does, um, you know, this is misogyny. That's why he won. And there are thousands of people that agree with that. So I'm hoping that Kyle does move forward. It's time to pick a target, so to speak, and file these lawsuits. 
People have been pouring a lot of money into this, I imagine. Maybe not, but I assume. So you need to make a move. You need to file some lawsuits. Or heck, take the money and go live your life, buddy. You've lived a lifetime already in the past three years. I don't think anyone would blame you. But uh, I sure love mining the absolute salt on Twitter. Anytime he says anything, the machine reacts. The reason the machine reacts is because... Most of these lunatics that are that are you know still spreading this narrative, they're a part of it. They they believe that the media is their friend. They also know the media is lying, but they don't care because to them there is no truth. They use words like my truth or our truth, with which is really just another way to say lies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Best of luck, Kyle. We'll talk hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you again real soon.